2024 is expected to be a significant year for extreme weather events that I'm sure no one is looking forward to. Most pressingly, the life-changing events that El Nino and La Nina will cause. Though unfortunate, we hope for the best. El Nino and La Nina are complex weather patterns that occur in the Pacific Ocean. El Nino brings warmer waters and can lead to heavy rains and flooding, while La Nina brings colder waters and can result in droughts and colder temperatures. You might be wondering, is this going to affect me? The upcoming 2024 weather events are expected to have significant impact on countries worldwide. Scientists are worried and are closely monitoring sea surface temperatures and atmospheric conditions to predict how intense these naturally occurring but unpredictable weather patterns will be. Now compounded by the effect of new extreme weather phenomena felt and witnessed worldwide in recent years, categorized as global warming. The naturally occurring cycle of El Nino typically occurs anywhere between three to seven years. In this video, we will discuss what El Nino and La Nina are, the causes, past disasters, and the potential impacts that lies ahead for us during the 2024 El Nino-La Nina climate event. We will also discuss what you could do to lessen the effects or prepare for these terrifying times ahead. Before we get further into this topic, welcome to edutainment. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. El Nino, La Nina, these aren't just Spanish words, but names given to complex weather patterns resulting from changes in ocean temperatures in our equatorial Pacific. El Nino, meaning the little boy or Christ child in Spanish. The name came about when South American fishermen first noticed periods of unusually warm water in the Pacific Ocean in the early 1600s. The full name they used was El Nino de Navidad, because El Nino typically peaks around December. During El Nino, trade winds weaken. Warm water is pushed back east, toward the west coast of the Americas. El Nino is a period of unusually warm ocean temperatures. On the flip side, we have La Nina, or the little girl, in Spanish. La Nina is also referred to as El Viejo, anti-El Nino, or simply a cold event at times. La Nina is the mirror image of El Nino. During La Nina events, trade winds are even stronger than average, which means they push more warm water toward Asia than normal. Off the west coast of the Americas, upwelling increases, bringing cold, nutrient-rich water to the surface, which is characterized by unusually cold ocean temperatures. During a La Nina year, winter temperatures are warmer than normal in the south and cooler than normal in the north. La Nina can also lead to a more severe hurricane season. They might seem like minor changes in the grand scheme of things, but they have the potential to disrupt the balance of our global climate system. These cyclical weather patterns typically tend to last between 9 to 12 months, but could last longer, leading to far-reaching and often devastating consequences. But what causes these shifts in ocean temperatures? It all boils down to the winds. Under normal conditions, trade winds blow from east to west across the tropical Pacific, piling up warm surface water in the west and allowing cooler water to rise up in the east. But every few years, these winds weaken or even reverse direction. This disrupts the whole system, leading to either an El Nino or La Nina event. The significance of these phenomena cannot be overstated. They are like the Earth's mood swings, and when Earth's mood changes, it can lead to drastic alterations in weather patterns worldwide. Droughts, floods, heat waves, cold spells, hurricanes, you name it. El Nino and La Nina have been behind some of the most extreme weather events in recorded history. Their unpredictable nature is what makes them so dangerous. Like a ticking time bomb, they can strike when least expected, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. To truly appreciate the magnitude of their impact, we need to delve into the annals of history. Let's take a journey back to 1997 to 1998, the years that witnessed one of the worst El Nino events. This meteorological monster stirred up weather chaos all across the globe, causing devastating droughts in Southeast Asia and unprecedented flooding in South America. Lives were lost and economies were shattered as well as 16% of the world's reef systems died. It temporarily warmed the air's temperature by 1.5 degrees Celsius or 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit, which was beyond the normal increase of 0.25 degrees Celsius or 0.45 degrees Fahrenheit. The world watched in helpless horror as ecosystems were decimated and the livelihoods of millions were swept away in its wake. The financial impacts were astronomical as it resulted in global economic losses of 5.7 trillion US dollars within five years. But the wrath of El Nino isn't the only threat. Its sibling, La Nina, is just as destructive. Remember the year 2010? 
La Nina made its presence known with a vengeance causing catastrophic floods in Australia leading to severe agricultural losses. The heavy downpours washed away homes, disrupted lives and left an economic aftermath that took years to recover from. These weather phenomena are not confined to specific regions either. Their impacts echo across the globe, creating a butterfly effect of weather-related disasters. From devastating hurricanes in the Atlantic to crippling droughts in Africa, the fingerprints of El Nino and La Nina can be traced on each of these calamities. These climatic events have also played havoc with ecosystems. Coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea have faced the brunt of these weather anomalies. The intense heat and cold swings have led to widespread coral bleaching, threatening the survival of these vibrant ecosystems. The human cost of these disasters is immeasurable. Lives have been lost, homes have been destroyed, and communities have been forever changed. Economies have been dealt crippling blows with billions of dollars in damages and recovery costs. These historical disasters serve as a chilling reminder of what may lie ahead. But what could the future hold? As we gaze into the future, we must brace ourselves for the potential impacts of El Nino and La Nina. The year 2024 stands as a beacon, a year that could potentially bear witness to these climatic phenomena's wrath. Let us take a moment to ponder upon the areas most at risk. Countries like Australia, Indonesia, parts of South America, especially Peru and Ecuador, the United States, particularly the southern and western regions, parts of Africa and Southeast Asia often face the brunt of these climatic events. Coastal regions and island nations already vulnerable due to their geographical locations are among the first to come to mind. Their economies, often reliant on industries like tourism and fishing, could face devastating blows. Imagine, if you will, once bustling seaside resorts standing empty, local economies crumbling as the fish populations dwindle and the tourists stay away. But the impacts don't stop at the coasts. Inland areas, too, could experience the ripple effects of these climatic events. Droughts could ravage the agricultural heartlands, leading to food shortages and skyrocketing prices. The ripple effects could reach our dining tables, our daily lives, our very existence. And then there are the environmental consequences, coral reefs bleaching, rainforests drying up, species pushed to the brink of extinction. The very fabric of our planet's biodiversity could be torn apart. The human cost is equally, if not more, heartbreaking. Lives uprooted, homes destroyed, communities torn apart. The potential loss of life is unimaginable, the psychological trauma immeasurable. And yet despite these potential catastrophes, there is a glimmer of hope. The power of human resilience, the ability to adapt and overcome, the potential for innovation and technological advancement to mitigate these impacts. The promise of a global community coming together in a time of crisis to protect the most vulnerable among us. With these potential threats looming, one must wonder, how can we prepare for the unpredictable? How can we prepare? In the face of such overwhelming power, how can humanity prepare for these impending disasters? Preparation, indeed, is a powerful tool. As the potential threats of El Nino and La Nina loom over us, it's crucial that we take steps to safeguard our lives, economies, and fragile ecosystems. Individual actions can make a world of difference. For starters, Staying informed about weather patterns and warnings is key. Understanding the signs of an approaching El Nino or La Nina phenomenon can provide us with valuable time to prepare. Simple measures like stocking up on necessary supplies, creating an emergency plan, and even learning basic survival skills can make a significant difference in the face of a disaster. Reinforcing structures. Strengthening the structural integrity of buildings to withstand the increased likelihood of extreme weather conditions, such as high winds and heavy rains, is crucial. This could involve retrofitting buildings with stronger materials, securing roofs, and ensuring that new constructions adhere to more stringent building codes that consider the increased risks. Waterproofing and sealing. Regular maintenance to ensure homes are waterproofed and sealed can prevent damage from increased rainfall, a common effect of El Nino. This includes checking and repairing roofs, windows, and foundations to prevent leaks. Flood barriers and drainage. Implementing flood barriers, such as sandbags or permanent flood walls, can protect properties in flood-prone areas. Enhancing drainage systems ensures that water from heavy rains can be effectively channeled away from properties, reducing the risk of flood damage. Insurance. Securing appropriate insurance coverage for homes and properties can provide a financial safety net against the damages caused by extreme weather conditions. 
These actions, while seemingly small, can contribute immensely to personal safety during such tumultuous times. But the responsibility doesn't lie solely on individuals. On a broader scale, governments and organizations must also take proactive measures. This includes investing in infrastructure that can withstand extreme weather conditions, implementing effective early warning systems, and formulating disaster management strategies. The power of community cannot be underestimated. Collaboration between different regions, sharing of resources and mutual aid can go a long way in mitigating the impacts of these weather phenomena. Moreover, it's essential to prioritize the protection of our ecosystems. Healthy, resilient ecosystems are our first line of defense against climate disasters. They provide us with natural buffers, like mangroves that protect coastlines from storm surges and forests that regulate rainfall patterns. Adaptation is another crucial aspect. Climate change is here, and it's exacerbating the effects of El Nino and La Nina. We must learn to adapt to this new reality by building resilience into our societies and economies. This could mean everything from diversifying our agricultural practices to designing cities that can cope with extreme weather. Lastly, we must not forget the importance of education. Increasing awareness about these phenomena, their impacts, and how we can prepare is vital. The more we understand, the better prepared we can be. As we stand on the brink of potential disaster, we must remember that preparedness and knowledge are our best defenses. As we navigate these turbulent waters, knowledge becomes our guiding star. The tempests of El Nino and La Nina, these unpredictable children of the Pacific, hold immense sway over our world. Yet it is through understanding their capricious nature that we gain the power to weather their storms.